And when someone says, no, I only do software, how important is hardware versus software today? Yeah, so, <clears throat> so GPU's got a, a real solid head start on building AI because they had parallel computing. But they're still relatively complicated to program, and the way they do, like, handle tensors and stuff actually wasn't native to GPUs. Now, GPUs have evolved to add tensor processors. TensTorrent builds a native tensor processor that's simpler and easier to program. Also, we build it so that the tensor processors natively talk to each other really nicely. And, um, and then we, last year, we open sourced our software stack. And like the, it's really interesting. The fundamental math AI is simple. A equals B times C plus D. Like it couldn't be simpler at some level. But the, the scale of it is amazing. When I started building computers 40 years ago, we were doing millions of instructions a second. Now we're doing trillions of trillions of instructions a second. And to scale that takes a, like a special collaboration between the hardware and the software. So when, you, when your machines are up and operating, uh, I guess the question is, what are they enabling uh, for people in the room here? Well, well, right now there's a really large family of models. So our mission is to run all the models with really simple transparent code. So big LLM, people say, oh, the software is huge. Actually, it's 600 lines of code. It's not very complicated at the program level. But when you go down in the software stack, it can really explode. And that's where by building a native software stack that is tensor-based, it's communication-based, and it's open source, people can see exactly how that works and how it runs. And I think that's going to unlock a lot of AI applications that are currently hard to program with GPUs. So there's been a lot of debate on open source versus closed source AI models.